Hi, I'm Mike Harris from Golf Monthly, and you join me here at the fantastic Hankley Common Golf Course. It's just on the Hampshire Surrey border in the southeast of England. One of a number of absolutely fantastic courses that are all about heather and pines, places like Walton Heath, the three W's of course, Sunningdale, and uh, Hankley really does live in that company. Four sets of rankings ago, it broke into the top 50, and last time, two years ago, it was at number 34. The course has uh, Martin Hawtrey as its consultant architect. There have been changes to a number of holes over the last 10 years, and over the last winter, there were changes to the iconic seventh hole, uh, to just smooth the back of the green there. It really is a fantastic par three, we'll see it later. And also the ninth hole as well, just to keep that challenge there for the better golfers. One of Hankley's great strengths is its fantastic location. It's on this amazing open bit of rolling heathland. Uh, you could probably fit another 18 hole course around the current 18 here, but actually that's one of its strong points is you feel out there there's a great sense of space and tranquility. Despite the fact it's only 40 or so miles from London. This is an original James Braid layout. Uh, Harry Colt did some remodeling work, but essentially it's a classic Heathland golf course that provides a wonderful test of golf. So we've made our way to the seventh tee at Hankley Common. Um, Jez, this is an incredible spot here, isn't it? It is today, certainly. It's, uh, <laughs> it says it's 183 yards. It's straight into, I don't know, four club wind yep. maybe? And we're contemplating which head cover to remove to, to have any chance of getting there. Yeah, it's straight across the valley, over the heather. Two guys in front of us seem to have just both hit the green. Yeah, well, uh, one hit driver, one hit uh, three, three wood, yeah. and they're both good golfers. So, but you get this incredible sense of this open space, this wonderful bit of heath down there, and you can see for absolutely miles yeah. in uh, in every direction. I think it's what makes Hankley very special: is this really open feeling. We're not being overflown. Uh, no trains, no cars, but yeah, lovely tranquil spot, even with the wind gusting. Yeah, well, the wind's all right, but this is a spot where in years gone by you wouldn't have seen as much of this and some of the clearing they've done has just made this a great spot to hit a golf shot from hasn't it absolutely and we played from they put in some purple tees yes. a few years back we went and played from purple tee on the third perhaps a little bit in a, in advisory <laughs> in it advisor, made it 430 yeah. yards into the wind um, but it's, it does show that you can stretch the course out however forward tees are still more playable they are and certainly today I mean most holes we've played seem to have been into the wind yep. maybe that's just the way it's going but I think we will turn eventually but um, it is a course where there are tee options as you yep. say we could go down there another 25-30 yards and probably have a somewhat easier shot absolutely and course is in great condition obviously we've had a um, had a very dry summer but the recent rains have sort of greened things up but it's still getting really good roll through the fairways and the greens it's in super condition lovely the routing uh, around the course that journey around which we always say is really important the experience is really strong at Hankley it is it's, I mean it's always been a great course hasn't it and uh, as, as our rankings show in recent years it's just continued to get better and better yeah. and I don't think many people would disagree with that so there you have it. Great start to the round. We're about to do battle with the seventh hole. Uh, I bet we'll have another chat later and just uh, uh, compare a few notes on one of the other tees. Yeah, I'm just going to go and remove the head cover from my driver, I fancy. <laughs> I think, Jez, what I've really noticed, I know you haven't been here for a while, it's just how much the course has been opened up. Yeah, I think particularly we've just played 13 and 14, which sort of play in a triangle, don't they? Yeah. You never used to be able to see one fairway from the other, and now you can 
pretty much see straight out onto 13 over there from 14 and obviously vice versa. So you just get a bit more of a feeling of where you're going next, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Those vistas are really opened up. You can see other golfers. We've just seen a, a huge uh, uh, number of horse riders cantering uh, along the bridleways yes. there. Bridleways here are integral parts of the course. It does feel very natural. It's this, say, huge open expanse of heathland. But also, I feel a nice contrast that they've started, uh, Alex, the, the manager, was telling us they've started hand-cutting not only the greens, but the approaches and the tees as well. Yeah. The presentation is, is yeah. lovely. And there were some new little new back tees. They're, they're, yeah. I mean, they're very small. You get a couple of people on them, but they're <laughs> spectacular, aren't they? Yeah, they were the other side of the bridleway that's at the far end there. And I think it was uh, the, the 8th, wasn't the eighth, it? And the 12th. Yeah. Yeah. Just little green, uh, small areas yeah. back in. They're not going to get used much. No. But the course can now stretch to accommodate whatever events it wants to attract. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the great thing is, you know, we talked about it earlier, they've got the option to go right back. I think it was, say, the 8th. That was then 600 yards yeah. to half by playing a little bit into the wind today. Uh, certainly, really only for the very, very, very good players. We've just finished our round at Hankley Common there. Fantastic 18th hole behind us. Jez, you had a beautiful drive, 9-iron approach. Didn't quite hold the birdie no, putt, but I think that no. halved the match. Yes. It's certainly a very, very enjoyable round. Jez, tell me what stood out for you about Hankley. Uh, well, what stood out for me, I think we've just and I've played this about 15 times now over a 25-year period, and it's changed enormously in that time, all the clearing work. I think what stands out for me is when you're at the far end and you're, you're slightly elevated, gazing out and the sun's out, and you've got these green swords of fairway. It's just an absolute picture. So I think yeah. that's, and I just think it's just a beautiful place to play golf. It's fantastic, isn't it? And um, a favourite hole, Jed, if I had to ask? Favourite hole, uh, I would say, I mean, the seventh is the one that stands out, although that was brutally hard today. Yeah. Um, I think, I also like the, uh, the tenth, which is yeah. a tough par four, that was into the wind. Um, you've got to shape it around those trees, haven't you? And in a long approach, those are probably my two standout holes. Yeah, yeah. I think that for me, the stretch of holes from six through to 14, yeah. really, that middle part of the course where actually you don't play it up and down at all, up and back at all. You seem to be playing in different directions yeah. and you have, as, as Jez said, that great sense of space. So yeah. at the moment, Hankley Common 34 in our top 100. Um, you know, it's uh, improving all the time. Done some work to two of the holes over last winter. So, and ambitious plans again to keep on making things better here. And I think that's the thing about the top yeah. 100 rankings, isn't it, Jez? If you're not, you know, even yeah. when you're in those upper echelons, if you're not constantly looking to improve, then you're almost going backwards. I think that, yeah, it's, it is a bit of a cliche, but it, I think it's true because so many courses have seen what's going on elsewhere that everywhere is now thinking, you know, we've got to do something. If we want to keep this position, we've got to do something. And uh, people are gradually catching up, I think. So everyone is now almost doing something. Yeah. So you've now got to do something extra. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I don't know what the opposite of a vicious circle is. Yeah, or is v it a vicious circle? Virtuous circle, circle perhaps. Virtuous circle, virtuous maybe, circle. yes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so inland golf uh, in, in the UK, really in fine health with courses like Hankley Common, just a great place to come and play golf. Thoroughly recommend a visit. Um, one of our, say, in, in our you know, top 40 of our top 100, great golf course and a fine example of inland golf.